10. Yeah, um, okay. Chantal, it's Brian calling. Tom was supposed to send me an email invoice so I could reimburse him. He was incredibly anal about it. Uh, I never got the, uh, the email. I was supposed to receive it by, well, I was supposed to pay him by Wednesday of uh, last week. I never heard from him. Never heard from you. Uh, we all know where Shitstein is at, uh, the, the Staten Island Ferry, F-A-I-R-Y. So with somebody, if, if he wants to get reimbursed, he's going to have to do what he's told, which is like simply submit an invoice. Other than that, this has been an incredibly dysfunctional episode for me. I just don't know what the fuck you people are doing. So, uh, you know, t tell him to e e invoice me and I'll pay him. He's going to have to wait another couple of weeks because uh, I, I, uh, I'm still cleaning up the mess that that asshole made. So uh, that's it. Bye. End of sent Saturday, October 4th at 3.18 p.m. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is Brian calling. It's about 3.30 on Saturday. Uh, Chantal, I'm calling you because I'm trying to pay Tom... But um, he sent me a file. He sent me. A, he he left an invoice for me at the front desk at the Magic Hotel. Why he would do that, I really don't fucking know, and I don't care. He's a pompous, little arrogant, m mediocre asshole. Uh, then I, I spoke with him on the phone. I told him to send me his invoice. I gave him my mailing address. He emailed me a file I cannot open. Uh, I, 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 this is so dysfunctional, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sue the little fucking prick in Staten Island. So you know what? Uh, uh, you called me about Tom in the first place. Uh, he spent $150 on miscellaneous. He's owed $400. Tell him if he can't pay attention, if he can't do what he's told, that he can go whistle for his fucking money. Uh, I've deleted all your phone numbers, so I can't call him, so I'm giving you the bad news. Somebody will do what I tell them to do, and then I will pay them. And that's about the size of it. Other than that, get a real life, all of you. I mean, it's, 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 it's patently insane what you people are up to. Give me a call back. Tuesday, October 14th at 2, 10 p.m. Okay, this is the last call for alcohol here. Chantal, it's Brian Dean. It's about 2.15. You need to call me if you do not want to get embroiled in this nonsense. Uh, Richard Dean is implicating you by saying you're in possession of video and audio tapes that are uh, stolen at this point in time. They're all signed off by an audiovisual agreement that Richard, in fact, had people sign. So, I don't want to get pissy with you, but call me. Don't call me when you're on a conference call. Preferably call me, and then I'll meet you. Uh, we can meet at Yamashiro or something. Uh, but that's it. This is the last time you're going to hear from me. The next time you hear from me, there'll be a subpoena, because I'm going after uh, Shipstein. Um, he's uh, guilty as fucking sin, and uh, I've got two attorneys, one of which I've retained, that uh, think that this is laughable. <clears throat> and uh, our business manager, he can explain it all to you in dulcet tones should you near, should you need a second opinion. However, do not, not respond to this call. Wait, does that mean to respond to the call or don't call? Uh, not respond. Tuesday, October 14th at 422 p.m. Okay, I tried all day. It's 4.30. Chantal, this is Brian calling. This is your last call for alcohol, sweetheart. You told me yourself that you saw some of the footage. You're in receipt of stolen property. You told at least three different bands that if they needed verification or if they needed to see the material, they could contact you. All those bands are in touch with me. None of them have any allegiance to him. And and if you, if I don't hear from you, and if I don't receive the equipment, not the equipment, but if I don't receive the uh, stolen intellectual property, rather, when the subpoena.
incentives are handed out at the first of the year, one of them's going to go to you. So uh, that's it. End of story. Case closed. Each time I see a little girl of five or six or seven, I can't resist a joyous urge to smile and say, Thank heaven for little girls. You have two new May 3rd, 3, 10 a.m. Confidential. Skycaptain.com is the email address. I am LAX. My name, Karen Hall, FAA. The movie Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow, coming soon. And um, the phone number is 800 W X B R I E F Extension 212, Extension 32. And extension 3-1 and extension 228. Over. May 3rd, 9, 20, 5 p.m. Yes, this is Karen L. Hall. My handle is Bukwiana, B-U-K-W-E-A-N-A. It's Jazz Flight 107. And I just wanted to tell you that um, they had shots of my brother, uh, and they were using an anonymous name, but his name is Everett Hall from Light Flight 107. And I just viewed a picture of him as a parachuter. You know how Associated Press and Time, Life, and United Press International. Well, while I was at the radio station, KESE AM, I heard something about uh, on the UPI while someone was eating cookies. So I, d I did some research. So I don't think he'll make it to the class reunion on June 13th of this year at Third Street Promenade, Santa Monica, California, but I'd like to invite you. And those films I viewed this morning, and I'm going to meditate on it and look at them again at the office, and, and because I've been in Santa Monica for 20 years, and then in the adjacent city I was there for so long. And, and, uh, and well, it's basically about something about, I don't know, I just left the office and I'm in a good mood, but something about something to do with uh, me and how they're going to murder me for money or something. Over.